This week in SOLIDWORKS Visualize Quick Tips, I wanted to discuss the new Area Lights feature in Visualize Pro 2018, but more specifically on how to move them and position them within your scene. Over here in Visualize Pro 2018, this middle tab, Scenes tab, click the new plus, new light, pick target. And you bring up your little crosshairs, click right there on the model. And in the general sub tab, I can choose a rectangle width and rectangle length and you can see how they all update immediately in the viewport. I can even change the brightness and color temperature too. So let's do that again. Click the plus new light pick target and right there on the round of the headphone um, headband, I want to a new light. You can see the second light was created. And if I do the same thing, crosshairs again and click on the ear cup on the back of the image, you can see the new light was created and added to the scene. And in the transform tab, I can click the word pick target and you can see how I get the crosshairs again and can select where I want that light to reflect right on my model. It's very easy to use just by clicking the little plus icon, selecting pick target, then brings up your crosshairs to click right on your model, right where you want the light to illuminate. Now I mentioned there were two ways that you can position your new area lights in Visualize Pro 2018. So that was the first way, which is pick target. The second way is called pick position, and it's very similar to using the pick target method. So over here in Visualize, you can see I have an interior of a home, a living room here, and some lights at the ceiling. So let's go to the Scene tab, click the new plus, new light, and this time click Pick Position. Then I can see my little crosshairs, and I want to nail that area of the light where I want the light to be. Under Type, Plane is the default, but I just change it to Disk as you see there, and then change the Disk Radius with the slider. And then increase the brightness to about 50. Make sure it was visible to the ray tracer. And now all I'm doing is just copying and pasting that light. Pick position and so on and so forth to get those four area lights, the circle disk area lights in my scene, right where I want them. So let's go ahead and turn on accurate ray tracing to see what we have so far. And there we go, looks pretty darn good. But the big new thing for this is fast mode. Fast mode is also now supports these amazing killer area lights, which is awesome because now you can have the same fast ray tracing that you're used to in fast mode, but now they work for interiors, which typically only could be done with accurate mode. So let's go back to the scenes tab. And just to show you what we can do here is in the general sub tab, I can actually change the color of these lights too. So these are just area lights. You know, I can change the color, just like, you know, a Philips Hue light um, that you can do, change, you know, 16 million different colors. Click back on the original white. Um, I can also change the color temperature, the Kelvin temperature scale, warm to cool. So I can really dial in any look and feel for these new area lights, but I'm still in fast mode as you saw. Okay, so now back to preview mode. Um, I want to show you another way that we can use pick position to our advantage. Let's say I wanted to put uh, some diffuse lighting up here on top of the kitchen cabinets, uh, the kitchen tile that I have here. Um, just click the plus, click pick position, the crosshairs come up, and I have a new area light which defaults to a plane. So I can just change the width and the length to get that diffuse lighting look that I want and then sort of move that light into place using the move widget. And then set the brightness to the desired amount. Let's just use 100 for this so we can see what we're working with. Go back to my final render cam and then remember in fast mode, now I can see this amazing new area light in fast mode. Just like I did before, we can change the color maybe something um, blue. It's kind of what my house looks like with my Philips Hue lighting system. And there you go. So that's an amazing way to use a new area lights and fast mode, don't forget, to make your renders finish much, much faster, using these new area lights with pick target and pick position to light your scenes incredibly fast.